Children, I hope this interests you. <laughs> the villain is something unexpected that unites them all, which is their mother. You have all correct. <laughs> Give it to me. Hi, I'm Joshua Lim and welcome to The Library Report, where we explore fascinating books, people and stories from within and beyond our libraries. In this episode, we challenge five readers to identify three graphic novels using the clues given to them. Hi, my name is Choi. I'm working as an admin manager in an IT company. I normally visit the library to borrow some Chinese poetry books. My name is Elvin. I'm an IT manager. I like to come to the library to check out new books on business, technology and self-improvement. Hi, my name is Sandy and I'm a student. I like to visit the library as it allows me to learn more about the world we live in. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Song. We really like coming to the library because it's got all these cool facilities that we really don't have at home. And because there's so many cool corners that we could read together. Hello. 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 This episode is about graphic novels. Oh my god. The heroes are a little bit out of proportion. You don't see heroes not wearing spandex, right? So they are not in spandex. So uh, I guess it's a uh, humorous uh, book. Maybe thriller about the children, the adventure. You got the guy with the trident coming up out of the ocean. Got to do something with myth, uh, maybe. Huh? Maybe I'll put it here because there's three different people. I'm guessing three different groups, so it could be there. We picked this mother to tag with this book. Just that there's a figure here looks like quite motherly. <laughs> yeah. The villain is something unexpected that unites them all. Which is their mother. Okay? Because I have no idea how to tie that in. Yeah, unexpected villain. Uh, you don't expect uh, octopus to be a villain, right? So, um, yeah naturally, they are food, right? So I would choose uh, Unexpected Villain. Uh, truth Uncovered I'll put here because there is some darkness and people are looking for some... I'm gonna assume they are looking for something. I would choose Old House because the old doll probably belongs to the old house. Yeah. Sorry, I'm very simplistic. <laughs> and maybe that's underground too. Because that could be like a cellar door or into a basement or something like that. This kind of Greek books, right? They usually is all about uh, testing the human spirit. So I'll put trials and tribulations here. Maybe the little guy in the raft here is homebound. So now we're going to rearrange the words into the correct things. I actually think you got most of it correct. Yeah, it's just you only got you only switch on through. So you have all correct. No. <laughs> 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 you have all wrong. So it's going on. Okay. Five out of nine. It's a passing rate. <laughs> <laughs> so positive. <laughs> it's interesting, all the phrases are all things like surprises, unexpected villain, unlikely alliance, truth uncovered. The second book, the keywords are old house, underground, and mother. And the third book, the first one is Mortal King, Homebound, and Trials and Tribulations. As sidekick and supervillain, Nimona and Lord Blackheart are about to wreak some serious havoc. Their mission, prove to the kingdom that Sir Ambryo's Gold Lion and his buddies at the Institute of Law Enforcement and Heroics aren't the heroes everyone thinks they are. Lord Blackheart realizes that Nimona's powers are murky and mysterious. 
and unpredictable. After a family tragedy, Emily, Nevin and their mother moved to an ancestral home to start a new life. And suddenly these kids' mom are kidnapped by this creature and they're trying to save them. Fresh from his triumphs in the Trojan War, Odysseus, king of Ithaca, wants nothing more than to return home to his family. Instead, he offends the sea god Poseidon, who dooms him to long years of shipwreck and wandering. In his efforts to get home, Odysseus must battle man-eating monsters, violent storms, and the supernatural seductions of sirens and sorceresses. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to give you some pages for each book, starting with the okay. first book. But the twist is that the speech bubbles are blanked out. And okay. I'm going to have you fill it in. So you can either continue the story from what you just read, or you can come up with a completely new story of your own that go with these images. Okay, let's have fun then. Should I say it out while I typing? Typing, <laughs> writing. <laughs> okay, I suppose the the woman relationship with man is the husband and wife. So I just I just pair them up lah. Huh? So dear, <laughs> older male and the young female, and they they're in a laboratory of some sort. And so <laughs> what I wrote for the the male is, are you paying attention? Yes, of course. <laughs> Ah, then after that, he sees the poison being uh, experimented on and it produces a expected result. And then he says, there, this is the proof we need that is poisonous. This confirms our suspicion. This is the proof we need. Then the psychic will say, oh really? Then he's getting quite annoyed. He says, yes, really. To which she responds, I changed the formula. That's why it actually worked. So he suggests, let's use this on our enemies, right? Let's inject the apple with the poison. So the enemy came, which is this hooded figure. Uh, they are like picking the, the biggest, raidest apple, like what normal people do at NTUC. And he says, oh look, apple, big red apple, take, okay. Yes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. All right, carry on original stories. Right, this boat is trying to run away. I'm saving, and then this girl see this one. I'm gonna assume the kidnapper. And girl say, what is that? Uh, so he looks a bit like the villain. So because villain usually have long arms. And he responds, the one who took your mother. Oh, the pendant. Okay, suddenly the pendant actually shows its power. Lah, huh? Somehow. Lah, huh? Don't worry, you have the magic. And I say, why do I have this magic? You're a wizard. You get the point. You get the reference. You're a wizard, Emily. And then they say, they, they describe what he's trying to do. The charm will protect you whenever you go. It will lead you back to your mother. So this young lady says that, how do we get her back? That will be revealed soon. She seems quite annoying. So she will ask, uh, are we there yet? Soon. How will we know? Follow your hearts. But the necklace isn't doing anything. Then give it to me. <laughs> Quite lame, but hopefully. <laughs> you ring a bell to the children who is watching. Children, I hope this interests you. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm trying to put that in a way that the one time monster is actually maybe uh, guiding a sacred place. So there are some intruders. It's reading time. Okay, so uh, this first picture, right? I see land. Set forth. Hello, anyone there? Cyclops, he picked up the, the, the rock and he flings it to the boat and the crew member was like saying, what was that? Ah, something like that. Uh, something like that, uh, because they are scared. 
So that moment, uh, all the system shouted, said, back, back. So everybody's rolling back. So then we come to the scene. When the wave rocked the boat violently and causing men and goods to fly. So it pushed the boat back. So the captain is now in panic mode. He says, uh, turn the ship, turn the ship. So um, the Cyclops was saying, do not come near my mountain or else. Okay. Then this caveman, or oh, the mountain man, <laughs> say, there's no way that any man will sit foot on my island. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> the what will prevail the evil, huh? what do you call? The good. Huh? The good will prevail. Okay? So, <laughs> do good. Okay? No evil. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the Library Report. Leave a like or comment to let us know your thoughts. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.